Yay! And he say, "Eh, yeah, now I swear." <laughs> I don't understand that. So let's see. I understand. I <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. And you? I'm very, very well as well. It's good to have you on Instagram Live. Thank you very much. There are so many people eager to hear from you, see you, uh, uh, really? hear what you have been up to. How's Manchester? Yeah, Manchester is good. The weather mm. is changing. No, it's that, cold. No. Uh, it's getting warm. Yeah. Yeah, last week was okay. It was a bit warm, but now mm -hmm. it's, it's a bit raining and uh, blurry and all that, you know, but yeah. it's good. Do you miss playing football? Uh, <laughs> football is my life, you know. You know, apart from football, what other job do I have, you know? I yeah. miss it so much, but it yeah. wasn't that thing. We just have to keep safe, you know, safety first, you know. Yeah. Now I mm. see everybody, everybody's going, Igalo, Igalo. <laughs> You know about the Galo FC, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the Galo FC. <laughs> I know, I know. And I, can see, and I can see some on Twitter too, you know. As I know, several of them. Several yeah. of them. Anyway, yeah. so uh, before you joined, I was running a simple question, okay? Mm -hmm. And you need to give us the answer so we know who got it right. I asked a simple question for people to tell me how many goals you scored are the recent African Cup of Nations. Some said two, some said five, some said six. I even saw ten. How many goals did you score? Yeah, I scored five. I won the the ASGO score with five goals. Yeah. yeah. All right, so those of you who said five, I think I'm going to choose one of you. So you got it right. She scored <laughs> five goals and that made him the top scorer at the recent African Cup of Nations. In Egypt, right? Yeah, in Egypt, yeah. Last and right, right after that, you retired from uh, uh, Nigeria, from the national team. Yeah, yeah. I stopped, you know. Uh, you know, I got injured in the last game, uh, the yeah. third place game with Tunisia, you know. Yeah. The yeah. first time I got injured and I pulled my hamstring, you know. I've been having problem on that hamstring even before mm. the tournament, you know. So I needed to stop because it's too long again from China to Nigeria, from national team and... I'm not young. I'm not getting young again, you know. So, and we have a lot of young, exciting player coming up. The likes of Victor Sime doing so well. Uh, it will be there. Uh, uh, Chukweze is there. So I just think I thought about it. This is the right time for me to just leave and let. Was it a go. difficult decision to make? Yeah, it was a difficult decision, you know, because uh, I love playing for my country. You know, uh, the country that gave me everything I have today. So. Anytime I've been called upon to play for my country, it's a joy to play. But that decision was very difficult. But I have to do it for, for my health, you know, for me to play longer in my football career, in my club career, then I have to stop traveling very far, playing every yeah. game. Okay, let me ask you this. So you had your first call to play for Nigeria. I'm sure you were filled with so much joy. You couldn't believe it. It had always been a dream for you. Um, fast forward, your reaction when you got a call from Manchester United, your childhood team, your dream team, the, the club of your life. How would you describe both experiences? Playing for Nigeria, playing for Manchester United. Uh, playing for Nigeria first, let me say, is the country, you know. Nigeria, the population <laughs> in Nigeria is almost 200 million Nigeria, you, know, you understand? And big call upon to represent the country it's a big thing because imagine you have a population of that amount and you are being called to represent the country. It's a privilege. It's a big privilege that I don't take for granted, you know. That's why right. time I'm going for national team, it's like a joy to me, you know. You want to go, you want to go represent the country because it's not because you are better. Because if there's such that 200 million people, they are much, much better player than you. But for you to have the opportunity to go represent the country, it's a thing of joy. So... I love that the first time they called me to come represent. I did not sleep throughout the night day break, you know, because I couldn't go out the country, you know. And when you talk about Man United, you know, is the team you support from when you're young, even paying money to watch them play and all that, and you have the opportunity to play in that team, you know. Uh, dreams come true, you know, but not all dreams come true. But yeah. for mine to come true, it's it's just God, you know, because I'm happy and I'm living my dream. That is the most important thing. Okay. I, I, I see some people sending messages. I see 
Asisato Shola, Ogu, Uchi. Oh, you know them, huh? Yeah, my Nigerian people, my Nigerian brothers and sisters. The Nigerians have flooded my Instagram now. <laughs> <laughs> Go and read the news. <laughs> <laughs> She's a United fan as well. Ah, one United, United family. <laughs> Go read the news. Bye. <laughs> all right. So, um, mm. you know, all through from the Manchester United fans, everyone says, "Please ask him. Is he going to stay with us? Is he going to stay at Manchester United? Is he going to stay at Manchester United?" And I remember, just before, <laughs> just before um, the break, just before Corona read its head. You had said somewhere that you don't mind taking a pay cut to play for Manchester United. That's how much you love the team. All right? Now, you've loved the team from afar. Now, you're playing for the team. What is that one thing that made you say that I am prepared to sacrifice all that money I'm earning in China to play for Manchester United? Like I said, it's... It's a club I support from young. It's a dream club. I'm enjoying my time there, and uh, it's the and I'm playing in the best league in the world, Premier League. You know. Thank so you. I and I want to continue. That's the most important thing. But we have to see what happens. But the season is not finished yet. So hopefully we we'll complete the season and see what what happens in the future. Okay. Now, so, so some other questions that I, I wanted to ask. You know. Um, before you arrived in Manchester to play for Manchester United, there were rumors all over the all over the world, on all the blocks, all the gossip sites that Igalo to Manchester United, Igalo to Manchester United. At what point did you realize that it was real? Who called you? When did you realize that this was real? This is happening. Yeah, my agent told me I think two days before then and told me about United interested. I just feel like okay, maybe it's a rumor and all that, you know. So the day of the transfer closing, I didn't get to hear from him, and I called him. What's mm. going on? He said, they have other players they are looking at and all that, you know. But in the night, in the midnight, then in in Shanghai, it was 11 p.m. I think. Then mm. they called me. They are ready to do the deal and all that. What's going on? I was going crazy. Bro. <laughs> I did not realize all what is going on until I landed in Manchester. That when I believed. Things are different. And getting to that training ground, I said, yes, this is the training you know? ground. So yeah. I'm happy and I'm enjoying it. Okay, the connection is quite bad. Good to have you back. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, you came into Manchester United, you met Bruno. Can you hear me? Yeah, the Colossi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, co connection is quite, quite bad. So I was yeah. asking how you felt reconnecting with Bruno Fernandes, who until uh, uh, we took that break as a result of Corona was massive for Manchester United. How did you feel connecting with Fernandes, Bruno Fernandes? It's good, you know. Uh, it's a great player. It's a good player. So what he's doing, I'm not that surprised, you know, uh, because... I've watched him play before, even not, not on that level. But he's somebody when you see, when, when you see him play when he was playing before, you know that this guy has a great future. I understand. He's, mm. He has good techniques. He has work rate, and he's very intelligent in the field. He, he knows what to do before the ball come to him, and he's a great player. And I and I think he's still going to do well when he's finally settled down. Okay. And who have you warmed up to? Really fast and nicely at Manchester United. Well, Which of the players? Which of the players are you really, 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 really close to? Apart from Fernandez, whom you knew be already. Yeah, I, I'm close to Eric, Eric Bailey. Um, I'm close to all the players, but I'm just talking about people who sit down together on the table to eat and all that. You know, Eric Bailey, uh, David De Gea, uh, Juan Mata. Uh, the uh, Romero, the other keep, goalkeeper, 
So they are funny guys, you know. We laugh together. We spend more time together. So they are nice people. In fact, the the old guys they are very nice. They took me as one of their own, so I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move away from Manchester United because I want to look at your career goals because you have scored some really really great goals. But if I ask you right now to choose three of your top goals all time, which goals would you pick? Uh, first, I'll pick the one against last, the one I scored before the, the stop of the uh, Before of the, the break, right? <laughs> before the break, I'll uh -huh. pick that. And I'll pick my first, my first ever going Premier League 2000 and, um, 2016. When my you were with Watford? Against, with Watford? When Watford, you were with against, Watford. Against, Watford against Everton in uh, mm -hmm. Goodison Park. Mm -hmm. I'll pick that. And I'll pick a goal I scored in Spain that gave us promotion to the La Liga. Okay. What uh, Granada against HA win. So those okay. three goals are one of the best goals. You won't choose any goal against Manchester United because I remember what Watford one time did to Manchester United and you were right at the center of it. How did uh, you feel doing that to your, your team? The yeah, team did, you I love did, so I much. Against, I didn't score against Manchester United. I, I tried my best. You tried to I, score, yeah. I tried and I walked out and all that, but it didn't come in, you know. But uh, I'm happy it didn't happen anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, also, um, you know, you, you come across as a very nice person. You're very friendly. You're always, always smiling. I mean, do, do, do you ever get angry? What makes you angry? Of course, we are humans, you know. We, I, I get angry, but I don't get angry for that long because life is not that difficult, you know. Uh, outside the, outside the yeah. football pitch, I try to be as calm as usual, but inside the field, I fight. I get angry sometimes, but... I don't let it. I don't let it last long, you know, because life is just too short for you to be getting angry and fighting for some things you don't need to fight about. When were, were you angry, or how angry were you when you had that opportunity to score against Chelsea in your first game for Manchester United? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I sat on the floor. I remember. I was like that. Oh my God, Igalu, what happened? Uh, yeah, I was not that angry, but I was just thinking all through my head inside the bus going to the airport and say, ah, this, this would have been great, you know, my first yeah. game for Man United in a debut game. If I scored against a big team like Chelsea, it would have been good and all that. But I didn't let that get into me too much, you know, because there's more games to play. I just thought about it a bit and I look forward. Okay. Um, so, what do you hope to achieve with Manchester United if you decide to stay with Manchester United? The team decides that we're keeping Judy Gallo. What do you hope to achieve with, with this team? Well, we don't know when, the, when, when we're going to continue, but it still remains the same you know, to achieve every of our game this season because uh, we are fighting to be at the top four to qualify for Champions League. We are in the FA Cup, we are in the Europa Cup. So, if we end the season with a trophy and qualify for the Champions League, would be would be very great for me. Not only me, the whole team, and the fans will love that. Okay, and uh, you, you know, um, the United fans have come to accept you, and they accepted you so quick, and they even chant your name when you're on the pitch. How does that make you feel? Do you know any of those ch chants? Can you say any of those lines? <laughs> I don't know how to sing it, but, but I hear it when they sing it sometimes, you know, because uh, mm. I'm, I'm one of them, you understand. Before I joined the club, I'm a, I was a fan. And mm. even now, I'm an even more bigger fan. Even, even when I even leave, leave the team, I'm still going to be a fan of the team because mm. I'm one of them. So they accepted me like one of them. And singing that for me even makes me even welcome and have the zeal to, to fight in every game whether yeah. okay i think i have you back now mm. i say it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing of joy for them mm. singing Thinking for me that way, you know, they took me as one of their own. So when I hear that chant, it, it gives me more zeal to walk hard, to run, right. to express, you know.
because I, I have people sharing and loving me. And even when I've not even started playing, when I've not started kicking the ball, they have showed me love, showed me that I'm one of them. You know? So it, it, it's a thing of joy for me. Okay. And who would you say is your all-time favorite Manchester United player? Not in the current team, but all-time across from whenever you started supporting United till date. Who would be your most outstanding player if you had to choose? You know, you you know since, I, since, I started, since I started watching football and supporting Man United, they have had so many great players and it's difficult for me to pick one, you know. But I would pick somebody I was looking up to in my United as a striker, which is uh, Andy Cole, because he's a great ah, striker. Oh. Andy Cole, Andy Cole, yeah. Andy, Andy Cole. Okay, nice. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. which, which Nigerian footballer or footballers inspired your football journey? Uh, uh, like, we have a lot of, lot of them. There's, there's JJ, there's Kanu Wankwo. There's so many of them I look up to. There is uh, uh, Martins. There is a lot of great players that have played for the national team. There's uh, Ik Uche. There is so many strikers that when you when I've seen playing in Nigeria, I look up to them. They have done so well for the country. So, and I'm and I'm proud, and they are, they are, they have achieved a lot in their football career. Right. And if you had the chance to bring back one legend. Then, there's Yakubu Aibeni too, and right. so many of them. So, so many, many of them. them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you had the chance to bring back one legend to play for uh, with, to play with in the Super Eagles team, which legend would you bring back? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. this is difficult. Though. I have so I many know. legends. Man. I have so many legends I look up to. So many in Nigeria. Yeah, so it's difficult to choose. It's difficult for me to choose. It's difficult, man. I would like to play with all of them. Mm. Okay, let me make somebody, it simple Somebody for you. just said JJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask you that between Okocha and uh, Yekeni, who would you mm. want to play with? I'm a striker. I will play with Okocha because he's going to give me pass to score goals. Mm. Yekeni is a striker. So we're going to play like two strikers, you know. But mm. JJ... If I play with JJ, then passes will come from left, right, and go anywhere. Then I'll just okay. have to start burying the balls in. Okay. I have a lot of Nigerian friends who follow football massively, fearlessly with all their hearts. And they keep talking about Stephen Kwabi, Stephen Kwabi all the time. How did this man inspire you? Who, who is that? One of the Nigerian players. If you don't Steve. remember, we can... We can, we can, we can, we can, we can move on to the next one. I have another question for you. Mm. So, as a striker, right, you need a strong midfield pair to yeah. supply you with goals. And I'm going to give you two options. If you have to choose between this pair, you know, there is Essien and Steven Apia, both Ghanaians, <laughs> and okay. then you have Abutrika and Hosam Gali. Which pair would you choose? I. I've played with uh, Steven Appiah before. The Tornado. I've played yeah. with him before in Cesena in Italy. I would, cho I would choose him. He's a great player. Too okay. much for him, yeah. Steven Appiah. So you go for the Steven Appiah SNK yeah. as against the Apotreka. I think the player I was talking about was Steven Keshi, not Kwabi. Steven Keshi. Oh, okay, Steven Keshi. Okay, the late Steven Keshi, Keshi yeah. Keshi, yeah. Keshi, yeah. Keshi, yeah. How did he inspire you? Well, I, uh, I, I was opportune to, to play under him when he was alive, you know. He's mm. like a father figure, you understand? He encouraged young players. He gives young players the opportunity to showcase mm. themselves. Mm. He advised young players how to live life, not only outside mm. football, you know. Mm. I would say it's like a father figure, you know. Unfortunately, we lost him. May so rest in peace. But he has done great for this country, for Nigeria. He, he won the African Cup of Nations as a captain. He won the African Cup of Nations as a coach. May so rest in peace. He has done a lot for Nigeria. And okay. every Nigeria can testify to that, that it's one of the best coaches we have ever had. Okay. All right. So I'm just going through some of the questions that people are sending, you know. And that's what I'm trying to uh, read from my other um, phone, from Instagram to you. There's another question here. 
about Manchester United. Oh, it's actually not about Manchester United. Uh, he, this person says that who would you have loved to play with between Zidane and Ronaldinho? Is Zidane? Why? <laughs> uh... Uh, Zidane, Ronaldinho is a great player, he has so much skills and all, but yes. Zidane makes football look easy when he was playing, the way he touches the ball, mm. the way he does things. I, I love Zidane, he's, he's a great player, Ronaldinho is a very good player, but Zizou, I think he's different class for me. Yeah? Okay, mm. now let's move away just a bit from football and talk about music. Nigerian music, Ghana music, which one do you listen to? Of course, you're going to say Nigerian music. <laughs> let's start. It. You know, let's... Wait, I, don't want to go in. I don't want to argue with my Ghanaian brother. I know, I know. This I is not even an argument. Ghanaian brothers and sisters, but I you guys know. know in Africa, Nigeria, in music, we are number one. Whatever, Jude. Whatever, Jude. <laughs> we are number Whatever. one in Africa. But you listen to Ghanaian music, right? Do you listen to Ghanaian music? Who do you want to compare with? Is it Davido? Is it Bonaboy? Is it uh, uh, is it Whiskey? Is it Zlantan? Is it it's you want me to continue? Should I continue? It's Sakodie. It's Becca. Is it Tiwasabi? So boy. <laughs> you, want, you want me to continue? Okay, you can keep the music. You can keep the music. Our jollof is still better. No, no, no. Nigerian jollof. Come on. We don't have to go argue about that again. Yeah, Nigerian again. Jollof. I know. Igana and I are always arguing, about, hmm. it, always arguing it, about food. We're always arguing about if you try Nigerian jollof, you won't eat Ghanaian jollof. I anymore. have tried oh. that. I have tried Nigerian jollof. No, no, you have not tried. I it. was sick for days. I was so sick for days. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Anyway, so who is your who's your favorite? Okay, so let me make this easy for you. Whiskey Davido. Mm. Davido, Davido. Whiskey Davido. Which one are you choosing? The two the two of them are good musicians, you know. But, very, very good. but if you have Whiskey and yeah. Davido here, which one are you taking? I'll pick Davido. Okay. I'm a Whiskey fan for life. You, are, uh, you see, the, both of yeah. them are very good. Whiskey yeah, for life. I'll pick the, I, I choose Davido. Okay, Burner Boy, Davido. Uh, I know you love Burner Boy. I know you love <laughs> Burner Boy. So this is I love, so I, ben... love Burner, I love Burner Boy too, but I'll still pick Davido. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you listen to Ghanaian music, don't you? Do you listen to Ghanaian music? Uh, not not really, but I've had some of their music. This Sakodi I listen to. A bit of listen music. to Sakodi. He's a, a good rapper. He knows how to sing very well. Shatawale too. I listen even <laughs> I listen to his music too. But I don't know how to sing any one of them. But I listen to to a bit of Ghanaian music. Okay, I'll tell you what the uh, what Igalo loves most about Ghana. He loves Bukom Banku. Ah, <laughs> he loves. Banku. He Bukum loves Bukum Bukum Bukum. is my guy, yo. Can you connect me to that guy? Let me say hi to him. I will. Bukum. I go one of these days. Bukum Bakum, for me, is the best, best boss in the whole world, though. <laughs> you sh he shouldn't hear this because we are not going to hear the end of it. It's going to be hilarious. He'll be on it for days, a month. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But let's, let's come back to... Um, this pandemic that is causing you know havoc all over uh, the mm. coronavirus it's the reason most of you are still at home you're not engaging in the, the the game you love so much but of course the human beings are more important and so football can can take a break what would you say to your fans because we've seen pictures and videos both in ghana and nigeria where people are being asked to just stay at home and they're still out they just can't take simple instructions what would you tell your, your fans uh i want to tell my fans um this is not just exaggerating and all that you know uh the world is going through very difficult time now it's not easy i pray for all those who have lost their life may they, <clears throat> they are so rest in peace and all those who are affected by this virus, I pray may they feel well and come back to normal. But this is real. Anybody that don't want to believe it, it's okay. But coronavirus is real and it's killing people all over the world. So I just mm -hmm. want to advise them to take precaution measures, listen to what the government are saying to the people, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, wear your face masks, be safe. 
because I don't predict things get too much there in Africa. It's gonna lose many people are gonna lose their life. You understand? It's not mm. easy. What is going and it's spreading fast. You know, even the case in Nigeria now is growing every day as I had. Yeah. Yeah. All of Africa is growing over and over. You know how mm. many people have lost their life in the UK. This is a very sad time. I pray yeah. this is very soon. I pray God see us through. It will not come close to us, not close to our family. And we pray for all those who have been on the sick bed. And most especially, all the medical staff that have been on the front line, working out tirelessly day and night. I pray God give them the strength to keep working out and saving lives. They are the real heroes. Absolutely. I, to I totally ag agree with you. Okay, so we just pray that everyone you know stay safe most importantly and then when all of this is over we can go back to cheering igalu to score more goals uh for manchester united yes, now, we hope, hope, hopefully soon absolutely and that you have chance from people in india pakistan um you know ghana Nigeria, of course, where you come from, I'm not surprised. <laughs> um, South Africa, all over the world, from the nook and cranny of the globe, everybody, Igalo, Igalo. At what point, and of course, we all know Manchester United is a huge club. At what point did it dawn on you that, my goodness, this team is big? You know, seeing the team from outside is, is different, you understand, than when you're in there, you know. Uh, the first day I walked to the training ground, I saw the training ground, walk inside <clears> the training ground. <throat> then that's where I realized I'm playing for the biggest club in the world, you know? What about the training ground make you, made you realize that? Uh, the organization, everything, the football pitches, the, the training staff, everybody, the way they work on me, took me in. Uh, it's totally different, you understand? So, uh, if I keep talking about this, maybe we're going to stay here till tomorrow. But I'm just telling you that I'm living my dream and I'm happy this come true for me. Yeah. Nice. And, you know, um, I, I'm going to bring up something that will probably bring back your tears. But I remember your first goal, you dedicated it to your late sister. Um, yeah. how, how important was she uh, to, to you in your career? Yeah, uh, she was like my second mom, you know, because uh, I we grew up in the same place when we were living in one room in uh, Nigeria, there in Ajegula, you know. And I know my mom was, my mom is Man United. Most of my siblings support Man United. And oh, bless them. Yeah, I remember when my, my late sister came to watch me when I was playing in Watford and all that, you know. She even got a Watford jersey and a Man United jersey then. <laughs> yeah. Right got it then you know because he was a punk man united fan and she was praying for me to join the team you know when i was doing well in the premier league and all that but unfortunately now i'm playing for man united she's not alive to see that you know so sometimes i go through that pains you know but i just have to face reality she's gone you know but i know she's up there watching me and praying for me to keep doing well and i have achieved the dream and she's happy about that yeah and your mom how does she feel seeing you in the united jersey uh my mom my mom is happy every she she has a small radio she used to listen to sport news every day she watched sport every day watch tv she's she was my united fan before i joined them even joining them now playing for my united now even makes it even more more <sighs> happy moment for her she she's yeah. happy about it she she knows i'm playing for my dream club so even gives her more joy you know she's very happy she's very praying for me every day to keep doing well and i'm happy about that yeah we've got just a few minutes more to wrap up but i just want to ask you this you, you talked about where you grew up is ajekule yeah ajekule <laughs> ajekule and you've come such a long way ajekule yeah you've come such a long way in one sentence describe your journey from ajekule to now trafford in manchester yeah i didn't get that you said what if you can describe in one sentence the journey from you 
from where you were sleeping in one room with your entire family and now you have so much so much room you can't even sleep in some of the rooms <laughs> describe that journey <laughs> uh, the journey has not been easy you know because nothing good in life that comes easy you know but if you see all the struggling all the hard work all the suffering you would know that it it worth it you understand growing up from the slump in Ajegula in Lagos to Old Trafford is very big you know then if they told me this is going to happen I would deny it I'll say no it's not possible but it's happening because of hard work dedication believe in God yeah believe believe in yourself always ready to learn be humble and never give up yeah that brought me to where i am so today so i'm i'm very happy you know i'm very happy it's okay. a dream and, and and so many young ones looking up to me i always tell them that it's possible to achieve whatever i want to achieve as long as you keep mm. working at yeah. yeah. and remain humble no matter the success you are taking like, yeah remain humble. Right. Guys, I'll tell you one secret about Igalo. So way before he even joined Manchester United, you know, in China, he'll be watching Manchester United and the United loses and Igalo go, goes into a mood. <laughs> no, don't he, say he, that, please. He goes into a mood. He won't talk to anybody. You send Igalo a message. He won't respond because Manchester United has lost and he's in such a bad mood. <laughs> he becomes so offensive because United has just lost the game. <laughs> and you know <laughs> as a united fan i know i get it's, it's because you united that putting me that problem because you send me message you said hey united is losing the game i said no no they're gonna win and all that I don't want to go to and then we never win and then we lose more <laughs> but now you are in the team you're in the yeah. team um only um our legend in charge how is he inspiring this united squad to get back to winning ways, to what we knew Manchester United for. Yeah, it's good. The team is working out. You, you can see before the, the, this pandemic stopped the football, you see the team had momentum. Even before I joined the team, they are winning with another. The team are doing very well. A lot of young and exciting players, a lot of mature players and all that. And all. Mm -hmm. So I just pray when the, 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 the season starts again, we can continue from that place. But like I said, if this team keep working out like this with Bruno that just joined the team, with Pogba coming back, with Rashford coming back and all that, we have a, a, a team that can do well, finish the season very well. Okay. What is one matter like? I mean, that's, that's like my, my favorite player in Manchester United. I call him, I call Pogba Kefi. You know what Kefi means in Spanish? No. It's boss. It's boss. boss. Oh, hey, okay. Pogba hey. is boss. Uh -huh. It's not only, uh, uh, only intelligent player. It's not only a good player, but he's a very good person. He has a pure heart. Yeah. He's a lovable person. You will love Kwama. Anybody that comes close to him, you will love him. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Okay. He's a very funny guy. He laughs with everybody. He jokes with everybody. And in the field of play, you can see he's a magician. So he's a very yeah. good guy. Every okay, of so... them there is good. But good. Kwama, yeah. because we speak Spanish together and all that, and understand all what yeah. he said. So he's a very nice guy. Okay, I'll just take a few comments, uh, questions from what people have been sending. Man, Man, Man United and Pigeon um, said, Igalo, what do you think about um, Mason Greenwood? What do you think about uh, uh, Greenwood is a very young and exciting player, very good player. He, he used both legs and he, left and right, can shoot, he can score goals. Mm. He's a player for the future for Man United. You, he's doing well now, but... In two, three years' time, you see him, he's going to be doing so well. Very, very big in that team because he's a very good player. Okay. All right. So, that, oh, there are so many questions for you. I'm just going to choose the ones that are very simple to answer. And uh, Nana Baji and Kule is just like Choco or Bukum in Ghana. Oh, okay. All right. So, proper, proper you know, inner city, slum. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, could, well, yeah. well, well done to you, Igalo. Well done to you, Igalo. Uh, someone says, Igalo, please replicate Van Persie. You know, Van Persie was huge for Manchester United uh, the mm. season uh, he ca he came in. Um, someone wants to ask if you are if you've been able to have a conversation with Pogba and what do you what do you think about Pogba? Um, what do you think about? I saw a video of the two of you having fun in you know uh, one of your training sessions. Um, he's a nice guy. What, he's a good player. Mm. 
He's a yeah. nice guy. He's a good player. And he he loves with everybody. Mm. He he's one of those who that helps me settle down easily there. And yeah. that's it. He's a very good guy. Good guy. Okay. Good player. Okay. I just hope he comes back. Uh, hopefully, he'll be back soon from his injury. Then I have to keep the ground running. Yeah. When are you coming to Ghana? You know, Igalo has uh, been to uh, Ghana before. You know. I've been to Ghana, but for for games with the national team. You know. Hopefully, yeah. maybe after the season, I'll come to Ghana, but only on one condition. What is that? If you're gonna take me to go and see Bukum Banku. No problem. That's not a problem. That's not a if, problem if, at if all. If you're gonna take me and see Bukum Banku, I'm coming to Ghana after the season. <laughs> no problem. Bukum Banku, he's my guy, you know. Bukum Banku is like my boyfriend, my unofficial boyfriend. So you don't okay. have a problem. So, so that need... means I'm coming to Ghana straight away. Yeah. After the Maybe season. Maybe you can invite so Bukum to Nigeria. Banku. You can invite yeah. him to come to Nigeria. Yeah, I can invite him, yes. If you he, if he's gonna come, then I will invite him to my house in Nigeria. So I'll chill chill will, moment with Bukum Banku. He will be over the moon. He'll be completely over the Please, moon. Please, I'm serious about this, so I'm also serious. You don't have a problem. I'm telling you. You know me. Okay. 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 Hey, and Bukum Banku will be accompanied by the Cheers team uh from GH1 TV. They'll come together and film Bukum Banku with Jude Igalo, Odion Igalo. Yeah, that would be very good. My <laughs> but you love, do you love boxing? Do you watch boxing a lot? Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. I love, apart from football, I love watching boxing. That is the two mm. sports I like most. Mm. Football and boxing. You know, we have okay. uh, we have Anthony <clears throat> Joshua, the best. So of course, Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> Nigerians. <laughs> you know Nigeria. We know you know Nigeria. We are. I know. Are, I know you people. Tough. That's what, and I still love you. I know how you are. I still love you. No problem at all. I still love so, my Nigerians. You know, Anthony Joshua is our own. So yeah, I watch every of his fights and all that. So I follow boxing mm. a lot. Right. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. We are just about wrapping up. Or or is it Ogboro soup? You call it. Ogbono. Hey, hey, hey. That one that draws like this. If you eat that in with, uh, um, what is this? Uh, Eba. Eba, up on the jam. Hey, hey, hey. Go, it goes in straight away. Okay, so Ogbono. Or if you okay. eat it with don, Donkunu or Kenke. Donkunu, not Donkunu. I was confused. I don't, don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it. Kenke, now. that's fine. Yeah, that's Kenke fine. and Donkunu. I was yeah. eating that before now. I like yeah. it too. Yeah, okay. So between that and Nigerian Jollof, which one are you going for? Of course, Nigerian Jollof. What are you saying? <laughs> are you in nothing, touch with... Nothing will ever separate me from a Nigerian Jollof, man. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you still in touch with um, Troy Dini? Yeah, yeah, Your yeah. We, the last time we played them uh, against uh, Watford, we spoke and all that. He's a nice guy, very good guy, a great mm -hmm. captain. I had good connection with him when I was in, in Watford. Mm. And apart from football, it's amazing. He has amazing personality. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's nice. Okay, we've got just nine minutes to go. Igalo, what's your favorite song? Favorite song? Mm -hmm. It could be anything. I listen, you know, I thought I listened most of Nigerian songs and all that, but gospel music. Yeah, I you're religious. You're very religious. Ah, oh, it's going off. No, it has ended. It has ended. Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? I, yeah, I can hear you. Uh -huh. Yeah, at least, it, at least somebody just keep put up a lot of to your day. <laughs> you listen to a lot of gospel music. You're very religious. Yeah. I, 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 love I, your, I, I love your bad gospel songs. You know? yeah. Talk to Alabi, and you are a Malian. Yeah, I listen to Malian, but I'm not a Malian. You're not a Malian, but you listen to Naira Mali. I, I, I listen to Naira Mali. I love his song, but I'm not a Malian because I don't... Okay, let's... You know, like I always tell Igalo, I always tell Igalo that stick to football. Don't sing. But Igalo <laughs> says he's a very good singer. So let's judge. Igalo, let's go. <laughs> Your favorite song now. No, 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 no. Don't put Let me. Let them judge. I keep telling me. you that you're a horrible singer. Stick to horrible football. Singer. 
Okay, I accept that. I'm already for single. <laughs> you you've accepted defeat. Yeah, yeah, I accept, please. <laughs> All right, so again, I just want to say a big thank you uh, to you for joining uh, this this feed. Um, it's been such a pleasure talking to you. I hope you enjoyed uh, this session with me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks very much. It's a privilege to be online to talk to to you and to the fans. And I want to thank everybody that have been online, those that that have been sending their questions and the question we cannot answer and all that, and those that have been calling my name. I see you all guys there, and I want to say God bless you guys. Keep supporting me, supporting my United. God bless you all. Absolutely. And before uh, we go, I'm doing this live uh, feed from my office in the newsroom. And there are some two people, huge Igalo fans. You know, I told them that I'm with Igalo. Just come and stand here and say hello to Igalo. They said, no way. We can't come. But I managed to convince them. This is all Swella. Hi. Hi. How are you? Okay, I'm wait. Good. Before then, wait. Ig spell Igalo. I G H A L O. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought she was gonna get it, get it wrong, and then oh Anita is here as well. Hi. Anita is here. Hi, well. how are you? All right, so thank you to everyone who joined the live uh, feed with um, Igalo and I. Igalo, thank you so much. You're welcome. And thank you. Can, yeah. All right. Okay, Enjoy your night. Bye. All right. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.